Hey guys, this is Torrance today. We're going to be talking about Marvel Strike Force slash Scopely slash Boundless, whatever you want to call them at the moment, whatever the flavor of the week is, uh, keeping information away from the consumers or can, keeping, you know, information that is very integral away from uh, you guys who, you know, are, are playing the game and kind of investing in the game and wanting to know how to kind of build characters and everything. So most people, you know, probably know what I'm talking about here. Before we get into it, I will want to talk about, you know, today's sponsor, which is myself. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know how to phrase this. Um, you know, I'm, I'm running a uh, Magic the Gathering channel. Um, if you guys want to come over and subscribe, we're up to 660 almost subscribers. Uh, we're aiming to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can potentially, you know, get some monetization over there. And I'm having a lot of fun, a lot of fun making that channel. So what are we talking about here? We're going to be talking about the safety attack. Now, you guys are probably like, Tona, what the hell is a safety? Um, which, you know, isn't a... Uh, like a forward facing, a public kind of um, thing that people talk about or, you know, public name for it. But basically safety is the ISO attack, the counter attack and the assist. All three of those use the same details. And this is a part that is in the in the back end where, you know, if you're, if you're data mining and looking through um, the character's kits, you're going to be able to see it. They do share them every once in a while. But what we're talking about here specifically is them not sharing them. Um, specifically in a way that people are going to be able to access it constantly. So we're going to be talking about Nightcrawler to start with, but I do want to say that there are other characters that have this same issue, stuff like, you know, Carnage or Anti-Venom or something. But Nightcrawler and, by extension, the other extreme X-Men are one of the worst cases of this, and it's going to really be frustrating um, in, in the future, especially for anyone who's coming to the game and wanting to know this. First of all, the counterattack, ISO, and assist is not a mechanic that is necessarily very intuitive. Um, the way they essentially work is that they are based off of the character's basic attack and they will do very similar things to their basic attack. Some things will not do this, okay? So some will not have every single detail about them. They are generally weaker. They generally will consist of both a, uh, a non-piercing and a piercing aspect. The piercing aspect is there because if it was just non-piercing, uh, just normal damage, then essentially it won't be dealing too much damage. So they add some piercing on top of it so that way um, there is more into it the other kind of mechanic here is that if you don't know piercing actually shreds armor when you deal normal damage at the same time piercing will reduce the enemy's armor for the normal damage of that attack which is another thing that is not necessarily very intuitive and it, that's very unintuitive in fact um you know, no one thinks about the fact that piercing doesn't just you know bypass armor it actually reduces their armor so, um, their actual basic attack is essentially what the ISO counter assist is based off of. Now, we're going to be talking about Nightcrawler here. However, you know, as I said, it is, uh, it is other characters that have it. However, generally, there is at least them sharing it. So, we're going to be talking about Nightcrawler to start with because of the fact that they have not published his counter attack assist it's actually, I'll just call it safety. They have not actually published his safety information themselves. They have given it to the envoys and the envoys have shared it with you guys. Huge shout out to every envoy out there. I love you guys. However, however, they have not actually published it themselves. Now, one thing is that they do generally at least publish the counterattack and assist, the safety information. However, they only will publish the highest version of it. They will only publish the tier seven version of it with the, you know, your tier fours and stuff. You're not necessarily wanting to tier four every character. However, as I said before, Nightcrawler, they didn't do this. So they had multiple different opportunities too. So we'll start with, you know, this one here, which is when they initially announced Nightcrawler and the other, um, the other extreme X-Men. They, so they announced a Nightcrawler. They did not share his kit. They shared his kit to the envoys and the envoys got to share it around. However, down here, when they actually announced, hey, Nightcrawler is going to be coming to the game later. Um, and, you know, his offers are going to be up there. And where is it? Down here. Yeah, Nightcrawler bamfing in soon. They didn't share his actual kit here. Generally, they share their kits when they announce them. Then we've got this one here, which is 
Nope, that's the, did I open up the same blog twice? Yes, I open up the same blog twice, because why not? Uh, the version 7.6 release note. So this is the actual patch that Nightcrawler came in. Once again, they did not share. They actually shared, you know, Gambit's and Cyclops' ones where, you know, they had their reworks. And this is what they, um, they should do is publish their counter-attack. No, actually, that's not what they should do. This is the very bare minimum they should do, which is counter and uh, sharing this, their safety, for people to be able to see at least once in a blog. However, then we had the release update. They didn't share it in there. We had uh, this one here, which is the Extreme Super uh, Showcase, which is when the showcase was coming, and they didn't share it then either. They haven't actually shared any of the kits for these new characters in the blog, which is all perfectly fine if you've got msf.gg, where you can see their kits. But again, msf.gg does not include their safety attacks. Now, it did used to. I will say it did used to. You can see here with Apocalypse, it used to. However, I even believe this Apocalypse one is out of date. Yeah, it's not even updating with this. Like, it's not even updating as I reduce it. They used to include the counterattack and assist information in here, as you can see. They stopped doing it. I believe it was not long after Boundless brought MSF.GG and uh, hired the guys who work on it. Um, they used to have all the counterattack and assist information in here, and then they just stopped adding it in. So, you know, if you go look at some of the older characters, some of them have it, some of them don't. It's really strange which ones have it and stuff. Like Bullseye, I don't think has been updated since they stopped it, Then, Bull but Bullseye doesn't have it in there. Um, this aim dude doesn't have it in there. So, like, some characters do, and they were adding them in for a little bit. So you can see here... Uh, like, this is what it should be doing. So, Agatha, it should be updating like this, where you reduce it and then that. But yeah, they stopped adding the counterattack and assist information into msf.gg, which again is very, very frustrating. There's stuff like, for example, Anti Venom. His counterattack and assist, if you do it with just basing it off of this, you might not necessarily want to do it. However, when you take into account in the back end, I believe it does still, it at least used to, the way it used to work was this here was not on, on his safety. It was not two random positive effects. It was 1000. <laughs> so he would do a, a, a assist and then he would apply a thousand um, or, well, you know, the maximum, and men, as many as he has, random um, negative effects based on his positive effects. So, yeah, it, 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 was, it was insane. Um, however, you know, just looking at this, you wouldn't. So what is the solution to this? What is the solution to this? Because this is incredibly frustrating. This is them, like, you know, at this stage, I'm going to say, you know, almost maliciously, keeping this information away from people because this is information that is integral for people to play this game. Knowing what a counterattack, an assist, an ISO attack does for each character, I would consider an integral part of this game because of how important they are. Now, it didn't used to be as much, but now that they've started, you know, doing this with basic attack where basic attacks are doing five different things um and you know once you add in striker once you add in raider and setter once you get added in iso overall this just became so important to know exactly what characters do it became important to know exactly what characters do now obviously you can go back and have a look at blogs you can go back and have a look at a blog and try and you know let's see i i believe there was I don't think it was even in this Craven blog here. No, it does. It doesn't even have it in the Craven blog. It was in the initial kind of announcement for them. It includes it, which means that every new player, if they want to know what a character does, they've got to go find the initial blog that this was in. So, how do they fix this? First of all, um, let's let's go with the bare minimum is making sure that they're at least in a blog. That's, that's the absolute bare minimum. And even that, I don't think, is a very great solution. That's not a great solution because it, it requires people to go find the blog. So if I look at... i got to look at, you know, Green Goblin Classic Assist. If I look that up, will, is it going to show it? Green Goblin Classic? No, it's not going to be on this. That's, for a start, that's his gear and stuff. 
No, it's not on there. So you've got to like, you got to actually find like the initial blog that the characters were announced in and really hope that you can find it. Um, yeah. Now, obviously, you know, we've got the, we've got Jarvis built in and everything, which makes it a bit easier for new players, but knowing like, even this is a, this is an issue for veterans as well. So the bare minimum is at least having it in the blogs. And again, that's the bare minimum. They stopped. Also, I will say that it used to be on msf.gg and then they stopped having it on the bot as well because they stopped supporting the bot. So bare minimum is blog, but that's not the great best solution. Next step up, and it's a reasonable working solution for now, is at least including this information is msf.gg. Like, you know, being able to see this here is important, not just for veterans, but for new players as well. I will say, you know, it, it's important for both. This here, I think is important information for everyone to be able to have. So the best solution, however, is including it in game. Someone suggested similar to how when they have a summon, you can click the little box up the top and it takes you over to that summon. Have it like that, toggle it across, or something like when you have the empowered, um, you know, an empowered ability or something like that, you have the option of being able to click it, something along those lines. Because not being able to see the ISO information in game, not being able to see the assist, the safety, I will just say safety, I, I keep forgetting to say that, information in game is really them just hiding information away which is incredibly frustrating but that's it for today guys i hope you guys had a wonderful day uh, again you know head on over subscribe if you're interested in magic i hope you guys had a great day and goodbye